Started out the day to a big X in the sky. Now we can see they're trying to hit over the top. As I brought the orgon out. We can see another trail over here. All of this white in the center is from airplanes. This puffy defined edge is an actual cloud. So center is a cloud. Everything in the center now is from airplanes. You can see the puffy defined edge actual clouds. And everything in between that is from airplanes. Literally has the sun almost gone. Center puffy defined clouds. Everything to the right is from an airplane. That smear looked like it was spread with a butter knife. That's how defaced and destroyed your sky is. How unnatural and, and influenced by airplanes and science it is. All of that in the center is from an airplane. So the sky went from blue to pure white. And people are defending that. These retarded, ridiculous debunkers. It's just water vapor. Well, if it is water vapor, it's just created a layer that traps in all the heat escaping from the planet. And then you get global warming. So you never see the, these debunker, chemtrail debunkers talking about climate change and global warming and, and subjects like that because that's not their, their assignment. They really have nothing to say on it because they know what's... They know there's bullshit involved, but the, that's not their thing, so they start running away from those topics. You can see right where this trail is, it's kind of blue. Meanwhile, here it's white. So obviously where it's blue, you needed to lay one. And they're laying one right over top as we sit here. Right over top as we sit here. What a joke. No plane path that way. The planes actually travel that, that path, but in the opposite direction. <laughs> so you can see unnatural routes taken. You can see it's kind of blue here. So they got to fill that in. Right there, it's white. Don't need a trail there. You know, this ain't rocket science. We can see this, this little puffy cloud, the bottom center, and right above it is from an airplane. So, if you're okay with the whole sky disappearing and totally transformed and changed, and you're, you're taking your time to go to other people's websites, to leave your little opinion and you're not convincing nobody chemtrail searches are going up by the day yet the debunkers still waste their time the same few people search new chemtrail videos every single day literally have wasted hundreds of probably thousands of hours to leave just a, a hateful comment without any intelligent rebuttal or website links or anything proving their case and they've wasted hundreds of thousands of hours. This actually in the center is a long trail. The very thick expanded thing is a trail as well. Didn't even realize that. So these people literally have that much time to waste. I wish they'd give me their secret because most people have, are busy with, you know, work and, and, and chores around the house and when they have free time they, they spend it wisely volunteer somewhere or contribute to society rather than just go into a site for a subject they don't believe in and leave some little negative comment and they're not convincing anybody you know Ugh. it's hilarious so the, the idea is really just to be negative and just to leave a negative comment because if you're not convincing nobody you're not leaving information you're really just wasting your time there. And you're just trying to harass the person that's putting their time in for something that they feel is an environmental issue. So now that the bees are confirmed to have dementia, which means bees hive above ground, they fly above ground, so it's not necessarily coming from the soil, it's coming from the air. So these idiots will still defend whatever's going on. The bees have actual dementia. Pollution is on the decrease. There used to be global dimming declared because there was so much pollution in the sky. Now they said that ended because the pollution cleared up. Yet the bees have dementia that supposedly is coming from fossil fuels. So if fossil fuel pollution is in a minimum, how are the bees getting dementia? None of these idiots want to debunk that. 
and autism is, is on the rise, and Alzheimer's is through the roof. That's all linked to aluminum. So the bee's dementia is declared to be from aluminum. So how is aluminum in the air? It's confirmed there's aluminum in the air. You want to debunk that? Go debunk it. This is mainstream science. You think you're going to escape it? Good luck. You're not going to escape it, stupid. Neither is your family, so keep defending it, you know. That just becomes satanic when you're defending aluminum in your air. That's causing the animals and the, and the people to get autism and Alzheimer's and dementia. So you're just, you know, satanic at that point. That's, that's disgusting. So I hope you made a good deal with Satan because that's your only, uh, that's your next stop when you leave this place. Look how thick this thing expanded. And it's not moving, of course. Of course none of this, these trails laid move. The other clouds are moving briskly. And of course the, the other airplane trails are magically stuck in a mystery layer. And they don't move, of course, again, consistently. Everything in the center is all from airplanes. Totally from airplanes. Everything out there, anything without a defined end, just totally from uh, airplanes, residue, pollution. So if you can't appreciate a blue sky and a natural sky in nature, and you think water vapor is just water vapor, water vapor is one of the most potent greenhouse gases available. And NASA has proven that water vapor exacerbates the effects of CO2. So it maximizes that effect, magnifies it by many times. So water vapor is not just water vapor. And climate science has nothing to say about this water vapor except it's, it's accidental geoengineering that the, the debunkers must support as well. Well, it's just an accident. We didn't know what comes out of an airplane was going to coat the sky. Of course they knew. So if you're so stupid, you believe it's an accident. And you're telling other people that debunking videos. Well, it's just an accident that the whole sky is covered. You're wasting so much time that you could be put into something else in your life. Learning something, teaching something. Other than giving your stupid contrail opinion that no one, you're not changing anyone's mind about. You're like the, the Jehovah Witness that comes every week and you're not, not getting no new recruits. They keep on coming. <laughs> the debunkers are the Jehovah Witnesses of YouTube. Just pestering people and adding nothing to the conversation. Then, oh, well, the military had planes in 1952, and those planes made contrails, too. So that means that it's a contrail, and it's white, so it's got to be a contrail. Even though they're talking about it, and they're passing legislation for it, for geoengineering, it's white, so it's got to be a contrail. I don't want to think about nothing else. That's just the stupidest opinion. Like I said, if you see uh, something clear in a glass sitting on a table, that means it's water. Could be poison. Could be odorless, tasteless, colorless, and it could be poison. But because they see it in a glass and it's clear, means it's water. That's, that's the, the strategy of the bunkers. Well, it's white. It's in the sky. It came from an airplane. Must be a contrail. That's their whole strategy. Total ignorance. Let's check that. This is about 10 minutes later, we can see it's all white. Blasted white, another trail they're laying in the center there. Look at that. Concentrating in the east, as the plan goes in the AM, concentrating in the east, the west, in the afternoon, totally white haze. And they're having a little trouble over the top, so. Little trouble over top. Where the oil going is kicking. Right here, blasted white. You can see the remnants of a trail in the center. Spreading. They came over top at least three times. And they're having some problems. Everything that's not a defined edge is from an airplane. That's just ridiculous.
Nice and blue here though. He's about to go into the cloud and he shut it off. Look at that. He just left this and as soon as he went into the cloud, magically he had nothing. But right here, he was able to produce that. And just coincidentally, this is like the bluest area on the block. So right through here they needed to put a little something. Not, not rocket science. Not rocket science. Where the hell is this guy at? Let's take a trip to the moon.